everyone, Ammo here for more GeoGuessr, and I think this time, because the other runs are fun, that's like upwards of an hour though, and I don't really have the time, that's not time, I want to go through this game a little bit quicker. So we're going to try this time, I'm going to set a timer, so we're starting, we're dropping in, I'm going to set, let's try to do 6 minutes per per timer, there's a guy on the phone, we'll, we'll try our timer NB, summit, alright, that gets to be our timer end sound, so start. So we're dropping off in the middle of nowhere. We have six minutes to try to figure out where we are. So first of all, oh, this looks Australian, just based on the topography, the geography, the the botany. There's plants it's all dry, sandy. It's brown. It's English. Move up a little bit. Uh, cameras suck. Evidently, like I can barely read that. But we appear to be. I mean, this really English. Uh, desert, dry area. It appears to be. This seems really Australian. So, unfortunately, Australia is a big. It's an entire continent as well as a country. I think one of the only places has has the uh, distinction of being both a continent and a country. So, good job, Australia, on having your entire continent be also your country. And are we? Is this a dead end? This is weird, man. Not to judge Australia, but. This is just come. This is, seems off to me. Am I in the middle? Look at this. Look, if I look this way, I look this way. It was like a desert. It was, this, this would be a scene from a movie where there are characters in a post-apocalyptic wasteland in the middle of nowhere. There's, there's tumbleweeds blown by. I turn around. We're like in a neighborhood. There's houses. There's cars. There's people. And just this road just ends out here. I'm sure there's places around my place, around you know my neighborhood that look similar. I just don't recognize them because. There's just different, there's just a home, there's different trees, different animals, different types of buildings. So it doesn't seem as off to me. Like, we go over here, look, there's more trees, there's more buildings. I'm just not, I've never been to Australia. It's just the, the landscape is just looking foreign to me. It's not something that I've spent much experience with. I'm sure, if, I'm sure for people living in Australia, this kind of stuff all the day, they would come to where I live and be like, everything's flat and there's a bunch of trees and what? Well, I guess they're not, wouldn't be surprised with the flatness. Like, this is, is awfully flat as well. Or oh, there are some hills and mountains in the background. But we're somewhere in Australia, but I have no idea wh where. <laughs> hey, we see him. Not, hey, 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 you want on the four-wheeler? Oh, that's these kids running around a little mini forest. That's pretty cool. Um, hmm. I have no idea where in Australia this would be. Which is a problem, because Australia is a huge place. I would imagine this looks kind of inland-ish, but people, they're, they're, the inland Australia is not, well, uh, well settled here. Let's imagine we're uh, around Perth, or on the east side, around you know Sydney and Brisbane, and other cities of Australia, just because that's the most densely populated area. So if I don't have an idea, if I have zero clue, then statistically, you know, we should be near those areas. So just keep looking around. Maybe we can find a sign, something that says like a city, like a school up here that could help. Tennis court. I can. If that tennis court is part of a high school, it might have a name on it that could help us out. Does that look like a high school? Man, this, these cameras are really bad, though. Uh, no, this actually just looks like a tennis court. Yep, I don't think that's a school associated. Nope, that's just a tennis court. Okay, it's a recreational area. A uh, pretty nice looking town, though. Oh, well, there's no. I need a sign. Well, I need to like click, click, skip up here. Uh, we need to find signs quickly. We have a few minutes left. I said we're trying to do the time, I'm trying to time it out now. Just, just want to speed run. Also, I have like, I had enough time to record. But I'm like, if I just sit here and do like an hour long, I don't have enough time for a full like hour long Joe guess or take my time run. But I want to kind of shorten it anyway, so let's throw on a timer. Uh, yeah, we still look. Like, I don't know enough about. Aust Australia. I don't know enough about Australia. Well, aren't I just a big dumb dummy? We're in the desert of the United States. We're in one of the desert states. They're way down here. We're in like Arizona, New Mexico. Wow, Nevada. Like, geez, I'm a dummy. So, thank you, uh, United States of America, for being patriotic and leaving your flags out so I can see what's going on. Figure out we are not in Australia. We're just in the desertous region of the United States. Man, I'm bad at geography, aren't I? But hey, hey, that's a good clue. We found out. 
imagine if I told my rescuers I'm middle nowhere in the United States, and I tell my rescuers, hey, I'm in Australia. Like, what? I'm, I'm, I would die. I would just die. Of course, not actually, because being in the United States, I can speak the language, so I'd just be like, hey, give me a phone, where are we? So, do, 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 do. Pow Wow Trading Post. That sounds offensive. That doesn't give me a hint on what state we're in, so we need to find a state. Man, these cameras are so bad, though. I can't read. I can't, I can't, I can't read the signs. Oh, oh, wait. Did we just get a better camera? I think we just got a car. Navajo Boulevard. Oh. Oh, I feel like it's a big sign. Oh, come on. El Rancho. Oh, El Rancho. Yeah, I was going to say that's just somewhere southern, but like. I've been to North. There's like Mexican people everywhere. I mean, there are Spanish speaking people all over the United States. Oh, this tells us a thing, though. Interstate 40. Interstate 40. Oh, here we go. Looks like it. Well, I mean, could still be New Mexico. Interstate 40. It's kind of a big. I mean, it is an interstate. So, there are several states could be. But, it's just me. Maybe around Albuquerque? Flagstaff? Junction. Oh, no, no, no. The bad cameras. Okay, we gotta stay. Try to stay on the good cameras. How much time do we have left? How much time? Don't worry about the time, though. I gotta worry about the time. How much time? We have. Oh, we're almost out of time. Uh, try to find something. Find something. American Legion outpost. That doesn't help us. Yeah, I think. Oh, that's our timer. That's our timer. Let's go up, look at the sign. Finish our sentence. Finish our thoughts. So, intersection of Interstate 40 and Highway 77. Oh, that's a. It's describes a lot, but we can take a cursory glance for such intersections. Highway 77. 77, come on. Come on, map. This is, our, this is our last clue we're able to find. Highway 77, right there. So we're maybe around Holbrook. Make a guess. Oh, nailed it! Nailed it! We're in the same city. We weren't even a mile off, or a kilometer off of where we started. So we started off in this very corner edge of Hallbrook. Then we found our way back into the town. Wow. Okay, good job. Good job, me. Let's get a timer set. Good. <laughs> I went from being in the wrong continent to pinpoint accuracy. Good job, me. Let's start. Six minutes on the clock. Is it going? Okay, going. Okay, immediately I'm thinking... Oh, well, we have language. Oh, no, Eastern Europe. Eastern Europe's my, my Achilles heel. Because I don't speak the languages. Is this Eastern? Maybe that script is just weird. That's like far Eastern, isn't it? That's not definitely not like Polish. That's not something going on in Poland. So this would be like Ukraine, Russia. Um, hmm, doesn't seem something seems off here. Something seems wrong. These are reasonable cars. By that I mean it doesn't show us that we're super far east. I assume like Western European type vehicles. Actually, a little big. I mean, these are a lot of these vehicles we've been seeing in America. That's a Peugeot, Peugeot, French vehicle, French manufacturer, which actually got Fiat last time. I saw a Fiat, I got confused with a Citroën. Because Citroën is the French one, for some reason I was thinking Fiat. I got them confused in my head for some reason. I don't know why I get mixed up. Oh, these signs are a huge clue, but I do not know enough. <laughs> There's so many things in this game I see, I'm like, if I was a smarter man, this would be giving me a clue. You're getting, having such a raging clue right now. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. It seems to be a parking. Oh, for a second, that was a car lot. No, just a car lot. This seems. Hmm. The bus here. Bus is getting good information. Except, not speaking the language really hurts. Really, really hurts. Okay, well, we had that really good first, first run. Anything here? Anything at all? Ah, oh, I can't. I can't speak. It's somewhere with a subway. Helps me about nothing. People riding bikes. There seems to be a little bit of Western cultural influence. Like I think it's a lot of stuff you see far east. Hmm. Not that I'm worldly enough to know for sure. That's just things that are being suggested to me in my head. And if I'm wrong, well then I learn that I'm wrong. And either way, it's a win-win for me. So, ways people. Yeah, they definitely. Uh, I don't think we're that far east. I don't think we're like. We're not like way out here in eastern Russia, I think. Maybe not even Kazakhstan, really. Maybe Ukraine, Russia, somewhere around here. Or oh, even Latvia, but it still seems really I mean just this pure acrylic like, script. We're far enough east for the alphabet to be 
completely different. This is Eastern, it has to be a kind of script. We're not in South America or anything like that. This isn't a romance language at all. Go up here, keep looking around. Try to find. The problem with not being able to speak the language is that finding the signs is normally such a good hint. And it. it, it can't read the. <laughs> we can't read the sign. Makes it really hard. And I kind of should have known that was a dead end running into. But you need to find a. Like, find something that's obviously a city name. Then maybe. Because we're in some sort of civilized area. Thankfully. I can find some sort of road sign and guess that that road sign is telling us the name of the city or the name of a road. And I could try to find that on the map so we can get closer to where we are. Otherwise, I'm just going to have to plop it down in Russia and just hope that we're not too far away. Hope that we don't die. Hmm. A lot of, well, I mean, a lot of buildings around. It's obviously a city. Come on. The bus stop. Nope, can't, can't read. I can't, Duns can't read. I feel like pork chops. Pork chops can't read. Uh, let's check out this sign that we just missed. There's one past. Oh, I don't know what these are saying. Are, are, are these directions the cities? Is, is it saying just like hospital this way? I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I could. I mean, it doesn't even seem because still a lot of the script in Russia. But this is just like pure, pure. That there's no. Uh, well, now it can be. There's this different. Uh, wait, wait. No. <laughs> so I was like, does that look similar? No. You have to, okay, we're probably in Russia. Probably in a. It makes sense just to plop it down in a populated area of Russia. That way we get the highest chance of landing near where we are. Just statistically, if we have no idea, then obviously we should put it near the most number of cities. Uh, yeah. I can't. I can't match up these characters because I don't speak language well. So it makes me makes it very slow to check all these city names. But obviously, they don't have. It's not Por Porovka. It's not gonna be here. It's gonna be the script. Hmm. Yep. I think we're gonna have to. How much time do we have left to look around? It's gonna be one of those. It's definitely gonna be a, a, a huge guess. It's not gonna be like our last one. We have 50 seconds left. Uh, maybe we'll try to find another another sign. If only I could find a sign that said, like, Moscow. This way, one kilometer. I think, because Moscow still kind of looks like Moscow, right? Oh, well, mock that thing. It, that, those words I can't pronounce. Like, don't speak Russian. Be cool to learn. But I haven't learned. Uh, do, 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 do. Nope, these aren't looking familiar. I'm not just, like, ignoring them. Because again, I'm not reading, I'm just matching the symbols. So it makes us go really slow. Very slow. Oh, 10 seconds left. I think. Alright, I think we're just going to put it down. Let's put it down. Let's say we're at Novgorod. Novgorod sounds good. Okay, I got it. I got it. I know. I'm, I know. Shh. Shh. Oh gosh, the phone's like not. Timer's not turning. What happened to my phone? My phone's frozen. The phone's frozen with the th Okay, well, let's just make the guess while well, well, it handles itself. I know. Whoa! We were really close. Good job. We were in Moscow! Oh, I should have just went for Moscow. I was trying to cut my losses and go between all this stuff. Shut up, phone. Oh my god, I don't know. That was weird. Which is annoying. Siri saved me, surprisingly. Just activating Siri saved me. But we were really close. Good job. I'm surprised we got that close. I should just. Nah. Well, in retrospect, I should put it in Moscow. I had no way of knowing that was Moscow. I just knew we were Russia somewhere, so I put it somewhere in between the populated area. See if I was close. Where could this be? Actually, not seeing much off the top here. That's giving me too much hints. Too much of a hint. Doesn't seem very tropical. Uh, I don't can't see any plants very clear. Oh, here. Uh, oh, it seems like a temperate climate. Oh, wait. Are the, is that an Asian script? Appears to be some sort of Asian script, and this looks like yeah, this, I can imagine this being Asian, an Asian area. Let's move up here. Oh, that sign is blurred out, really. I can't see it very well, but it appears to be an Asian script. I like, but that fire fire cistern. Why is it also in English? That is not at all 
any sort of language I recognize and appears to be an a some sort of Asian script. But why would it also be English? Let's keep going. Seems like an interesting one. Architecture, yeah, I mean, that seems Asian. Little, little curved shingles on the roof. I have no idea. I mean, Asia is kind of a big place. So, this isn't... <laughs> I'm not at all narrowed down to anywhere. Hmm. Yeah, there's a sign there. Roman numerals. Is there anything... Or, no people, evidently. People in this town like to go outside. I don't blame them. Looks like it's a rainy day when this is recorded. Uh, what's on the side of the road here? Are these like... Grates, okay. Grates on the side of the road. Lots of grates. This is a rainy area. Well, does that suggest this is a rainy, like a area with a rainy season? Maybe we're a little bit more south, a little more... Towards the equator? Are we like in Indonesia, maybe? Papua New Guinea? Maybe I'll explain the English script because it's close to Australia. In proximity to Australia. A decent enough vehicles looking around. <laughs> Yeah, nope, that's okay. It's in it's in Asian. That's all I got. It's in Asian. It's Panasonic right there. That doesn't I mean it's an international brand. Don't tell me anything. I'll keep going. No, not that stop. Stop. Stop that. I have reasonable cars, which suggests the wealth of an area, which then they can get some information off of. I don't want to be too I'm making too many assumptions. Especially because there are poor and rich areas of every country. So poor country all rich areas, rich, area, rich country all poor areas. So they'll... That Japanese, it's not Japanese, is it? I know like a couple of Japanese characters. Not seeing them. Only a couple. Like, strictly a couple. <laughs> uh, oh god, just go forward. This, this camera's control is being a little weird right now. And for some reason we got really far away from that sign. There's more signs up here. This looks like a really good sign to look at. Get all up on here. Suzuki, again, international brand. To to Toyo Oka, Mizao, Central Kumihana, and Miroyama. This seems, that seems really Japanese. So maybe we are in Japan. And, you know, Toyo Yoka? Is that, <laughs> is that what they call Tokyo? Mizao. I mean, that seems Japanese. Just off the top of my head. Can we match some of these characters? Actually, while we're in here? Can match the characters so I can learn, teach myself some Japanese real quick. Um, no, no, wait. No. Those aren't the same characters. They kind of look like they could be from the same alphabet. I can match like one of the characters, just overall, just not even the same names. Just match the characters so that I can find out this is Japanese that we're looking at right now. I'm not seeing any familiar characters. Oh wait, no, nope. Oop, how about just a little W looking thing? Oh wait, that one. A little, little alpha looking thing. Sigma, whatever. Delta? Gamma? Oh, I'm getting myself all confused. That appears to be shared symbol. And T Toyo Ilka. And it does seem, I mean, I did have a feeling like it could be Japan. Just because English, they do teach English in Japan. I don't. I don't think it'd be on their signs though. It seems kind of weird. Like Southern Japan, I don't really mean to click there. Oh, well, I have no idea where in Japan. Japan's not necessarily a small place. I mean, grand scheme of things, it's kind of small, but it's still large enough that if we're on the wrong end of the country, I can get that many points. Toyo Yoka. Okay, being an ignorant American, that just suggests to me it's all around Tokyo, which sounds freaking stupid. Doesn't seem like true at all, but it's going off what I have. Unless there's a town called Toyoyoka in Japan. Or unless we're not even in Japan. That is also entirely possible. Something about that all seems very Japanese to me. At least, uh, Japanese characters. This language seems a little bit off. Where else would I think? Well, I was thinking Taiwan, Philippines, Malaysia, Indonesia. Maybe not. Maybe we are in Japan. Let's keep going. Let's try to go a little bit faster. <laughs> Ugh. Ah, uh, indoor allergy still going strong. Not down there. Not down there. It's not where I want to go. Try to stick to the main streets. What about these trees? What are the foliage? Does this seem Japanese? Eh. Eh, kinda. Almost seems a little too... Are we in North Japan, then? Still seems a little bit temperate. No. 
No, because then there's also all those grates on the side of the road. But there's none over here. Oh, oh, it's the, my timer. My timer's going to town. So it's saying, it's saying wrap it up here. Ugh. I think we just have to go off our instincts. Our instincts are telling us Japan. Our instincts may be wrong. But, so be it. Sagagoshi. Oh, oh, oh. You know what? This looks real Japanese as well. Okay, we're going with Japan. We're just going to say we are in Japan. Let's take a look at the sign. The sign is entirely in Japanese. Let's just try it. These signs? Nope. They're all in what I imagine is Japan, going off the assumption that we are in Japan. And it looks. Saw the word Tokyo Yoka. Maybe that just means like an area that Tokyo is. No, because apparently the area Tokyo is in, is, in is, is Tokyo. Okay. Well, it's a dense, still a densely populated area of Japan, so let's pop it down like near, near Kumiyagaya. Maybe a little bit more north. Tokiki? Takiki? Around a little bit. Maybe someone will jump out at us, but. And Japan is pretty densely populated all over, though. Um, hmm. Do I know north or south? Not even. Well, I think I'm just going to go cut my losses, go around middle Japan, where it's kind of densely populated anyway. And then we'll, yeah, we'll just roll the dice. Oh, so yeah, let's try it. Let's try it. Cut, kill, cut, Gyoda, I guess. Hey, that's not that bad. We're 250 miles. We were in Japan. Hey, there's a t Toyo, Toyuka. That's actually a city there. Was there other things nearby that I saw? Kumihama? Did we see Kumihama? Maybe we did. But eh, that wasn't that bad. So, next round. Go another. Get time back on the clock. Start it. Um, so immediately. Temperate area, it's tall. The the city the, oh my god I'm a scientist I don't know his word the, the, oh my gosh opposite of coniferous trees. The should the, the city is why can't I <laughs> oh my gosh it's embarrassing. I should revoke my degree. But yeah it's obviously an autumn area than autumn leaves changing there's also some uh, also some pine trees here conifers. We're also in the middle of but nowhere. So this is just me North America. Just the plants and the style. It's kinda of like seems like northern maybe like somewhere in Maine, maybe in Canada somewhere. It's Canada and the United States look awfully familiar sometimes. Similar. This does not look like an American sign though. I mean this could be Europe. This kind of trees exist. In Europe as well. <laughs> Ugh, allergies. Oh here we go, we have a sign. Yare Vera Varasvara. Okay, this is almost certainly European. Varazvara. Ah, Varazvara. What language is Varazvara? No idea. Varazvara. It seems... Eastern? Even Southeastern? European? Hmm. Like, no. Because it's the same script. It can't be that far eastern, a little northern. I think we need to find more signs. We need to keep looking. Can we go towards Varazvara? Sign. Don't be blurred out. I need to read you. Oh, so, so useless. Oh, wait, 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 wait. It was right there. Nope, nope, it was right there. We click there. See it. Varazvante? Varazvante? Is there one Varazvara? It doesn't seem... Oh, I don't want to go... That road's not paved. That suggests there's not much down there, though. Let's keep going this way, and we'll find some more. And the, the weather lightened up. Is that pleasant? Is that a sign? No, it's just a, like a bus stop sign. Or a pullover area. Uh, the weather definitely got nicer. Some bales of hay, nicely wrapped. Hmm, this one's not going so well. Oh, there's a sign. Sign, 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 sign. Sign. Fika. Viki. Beaky. Hmm, Beaky. We need more signs. Like, this is a couple of words in helping me know. I need more. More signage. So we could be still anywhere in Europe. This is almost certainly Europe. Oh, that was that one time it says almost certainly Australia. And we're friggin. Well, where were we? Arizona? Mexico? Kusinimi. What language is this? Beresvara Kusinimi? Hmm. I have. I mean, check. No, we're not check. 
because we're sharing all the same alphabet so far. We haven't had any new any different characters. It's just me that we're not that far. Belgium, Netherlands. But these are weird. Uh, seem like weird town names. Things far west. Germany even. Oh, we need. Let's try to go Kusin Naimi. We can find something in there. Gives us more. Gives us more information. Just a post box, right? Yeah. Maybe that post box. Maybe they have those post boxes in a particular country. That would help me figure out where we are. A little German. Feels a little German. Leaning towards Germany. There's forests. It has a lot of forests. Doesn't seem like very German architecture, though, is it? Keep going, keep going. Oh, this might be a swing and a miss this time. But Japan wasn't that far off. We had nailed the, need the nailed the American round. This one. This one might be a bit. This one might be the one that kills the run. Oh, come on. Give me a sign. Give me a sign. I shouldn't have gone down the unpaved road because I know there'd be nothing down here. Oh, I said four miles to that other town. Assuming that word was the word for a town. Oh, oh. Did I get turned around? Oop. We just went down the curve, right? I keep going this way. If I didn't turn around, that's going to waste all of our time. If I got myself turned around. Keep going. Keep going. It doesn't look familiar, though. The curve of the road doesn't seem familiar. Very beautiful. I'm not going to lie. It really is. This place. No. They're not even cars. There's some houses. Can we see a car? Maybe the car will... Suggest something. What, what? What do we have here? Nothing. Maybe just a sign in the dude's house. Address indicator or something. Logging going on. Can't read that. Cat. Cass. Nope. 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 Can't read it. Is this the end of the line? Oh, okay. Thought we we're done. I'm like this isn't the town. You said there's a town down here. Speaking of which, where's this town? Have we been four miles? Excuse me? Kis Kilaniamini Kis Kilanimenti Kis Kilanimenti This is Swedish Sweden Seems not Something seems wrong Where are we? A lot of the, seems germ like seems a little Germanic, a little Swedish, not a little bit north. Is Denmark? Oh, it says we're done. I have no idea where we are though, other than Europe. Okay, all right, all right let's try to finish up, and then here's a very European-looking scooter. If we get to the town, at least get one more sign. Try to cut us off soon. The timer is up. Do need to do need to end this. Oh, there's just. <laughs> There's no signs. We got such a bad drop. All right, with the trees, the language, maybe, maybe Denmark. Maybe we're in Denmark. Maybe Netherlands. E -e. Doesn't seem to. Maybe not. Let's try. Let's try. Let's try Netherlands. Or maybe it's in Belgium. Let's try Netherlands. Let's do. Let's do up here in the no, near Assen because Assen's funny. That's all I got. That's all I got. As far as I got, we were, yeah, we're in Finland. I was right on. Well, I wasn't right on with Sweden. I was closer with Sweden. It just seemed because we didn't see any of the, the char special characters that you find in Swedish. Like there weren't any umlauts. There weren't any. Of the, I don't know if the O's with the crosses are through them on, but it didn't seem. Ah, uh, I know. I said you heard me say this seems a little Swedish. And I backed out. I backed up. I lost confidence. So we didn't get too much for that one. It was Finland. Although of course Sweden is not Finland. But being a Sweden, obviously, would be closer. We got a little more points, a few more points. All right, that one was rough, though. We were really out in the middle of nowhere. Let's try it. I think it's yeah, it our last one, so let's start the timer and go. So, again, could be North America, could be Europe. It's the kind of temperate trees here. A little tall, woody. Some, like some pine trees right around. Yeah, some pine trees in here. All right. There's some, the dude's house. Doesn't tell me anything so far. So we're still covering a large area. Oh, that looks kind of American. Actually, looks really American. 
Hatch. It was almost certainly okay. All right, I'm feeling like we're in America now. Oh, here we go. That sign. That's an American. Is that an American highway sign? That doesn't look like the right symbol. Unless we're in a state that has weird signs. Or not America. It could be Canada. I said Canada and America. <laughs> in this game, it would be surprisingly similar. We're in a ski center, Cascade Ski Center. It's in English. We're on the right side of the road. It seems American or Canadian. I feel like we're in North America. A bit closer to North America. We're in North North America. Almost certainly ski center. There's trees and mountains. Almost certainly North America. Maybe Washington, Oregon, California. Northeast could be Canada. So we're not very narrowed down. But we have North America, at least. It's not necessarily true, of course. I mean, I guess it could be England. No, we're not England. We're on the right side of the road. No way is England. We're not in England. That means we're <laughs> definitely in North America. I don't think anywhere in Australia looks like this. We need to find some signage. Especially getting, being in North America, and things being in English, I can actually read, which obviously increases the accuracy of me being able to figure out where we are. That, that was a weird artifact there. Keep going, keep going, looking for signs, of course. Big old Mack truck, you have anything on you? Anything? No? Uh, no, didn't think so. Sometimes it's like a company name or something on there. Cascade Inn, Restaurant and Lounge. I'm not sure we're in the United States or. Canada, either. Hostel? What? What? A, a hostel? Topo's hostel on private room? A hostel? Really? Hmm. Hostel's usually a European thing. Suddenly, the camera. Okay. What? That was weird. I had like a, <laughs> a picture from a very bad camera there. See? Can you see that for sale sign? It has some sort of. Oop. Does that have any indication where we are on that sign? Hmm. Hmm. So at first, I mean, we aren't getting any more hints, though. So that would be very good evidence that we're in North America. We're not getting anything beyond that. A lot of trees. It seems. I don't see it seems northeastern, but it be northwestern. It's just because of the mountains? Like, the Appalachian Mountains are pretty weak. It's starting to suggest to me we're in, like, northwest. United States, or even Canada. I haven't seen anything that suggests that. I haven't seen enough to differentiate it between being Canada and America. It's a cute dog, and also that man has duplicated himself. Oh, no, 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 no! There's no, there's no town over here. There's nothing over here. What, what do these say? Adopt a highway. Adopt a highway. Obviously, America's America has a lake. <gasps> lake Placid. Lake Lake Placid. Oh my gosh, there's a problem, guys. I don't know where Lake Placid is. I what? Where's Lake Placid? I don't know. Oh no, I don't know where Lake Placid is. Lake Placid. Oh, God, I feel so stupid. Lake Placid. Let's look for some lakes in Oregon and such. Goose Lake. Uh, Upper something Lake. Greater Lake. I don't know lakes, man. The Summer Lake, uh, North North California, even no, it's Goose Lake still. Lake Placid is it in uh, Idaho? Even Lake Placid? No. no. Placid. Straight up, don't know where Lake Placid is. That is sad. Makes me a sad, sad bunny. Um. Do, do, do. Try the. Uh, or in like the lakes. No lake placids anywhere. No. no lake placid. That. Sabago Lake. I don't, really don't think it's up here in the northeast. Still really leaning towards the northwest. But I don't know. Lake placid. Not a, a thing I'm familiar with. Okay. Okay, well, that is a shame. That's a huge hint. I'm not able to take advantage of. Pass it up. Well, let's just back on up then. Look for other hints then. Placid. I don't know. There it is. Keep going, keep going, keep going. I think maybe Washington, Oregon. Might drop it down somewhere in Washington or Oregon. Around Portland. I didn't see any Lake Placid though. 
I don't know where the glass is. Hmm. Hmm. Still no signs. Oh, oh, this is something. Or Olympic Jumping Complex. Wow, that is not... No? <laughs> doesn't give me information? Olympic Jumping Complex. What about this? This is probably just... Put signs. Yeah, no stopping. Hmm. We're training time here. Training lots of time. Oh no, no, don't tell me, don't tell me I'm done. I'm not done. Uh okay, here, here, okay, here, here we go. Here we go. Here's the sign. Lake Placid again. Wil Wilmington. Wilmington Lake Placid. I don't know where Lake Placid is though. If I knew where Lake Placid was, this would be the easiest one ever. At least I'm gonna learn. I will learn here though. We're gonna find Lake Placid, even if I'm way off. It's gonna show us where we are. I'm gonna know, I'm gonna learn. From now on, like, oh yeah, that's where Lake Placid is. Because there's that movie called Lake Placid, right? And it has like a crocodile in the lake and eats everyone. And I've seen that movie. <laughs> I don't know where Lake Placid is though. It definitely seems northwestern. Lots of lakes up here. It's a reservoir. It's a reservoir. Lake. Lava Lake. Something else is on Lava Elk Lake. Where's Wilmington? I also need to find Wilmington. Wilmington and Placid Lake. Oh. See, if only there's a search function in this game, but that would, that would kind of ruin it, wouldn't it? Yeah, I got a little, got a little soaring up there. Lake Placid, what are you? Wilmington Lake? Ugh. Yuck. Yuck. Okay, let's look for Wilmington around some populated areas. Around Eugene, I don't see any Wilmingtons. About. Around Portland, New Wilmingtons. New Wilmingtons or Lake Placids. Wilmington. Oh, there's like people that live. Sure. You idiot. This is where I live. It should be so so obvious. I feel like it should be obvious, really. Lake Placid. I know the lake. I know the town. I have an idea of the region. If I'm in the right region, which I very well might not be. But Wilmington and Lake Placid. Ugh. Come on. Where is this Placid Lake? Where is this Wilmington area? These aren't like lakes, it's like an estuary around Seattle. Hey, Bellevue. Hello, Bellevue. Lake Placid. Wilmington. Oh, goodness. Goodness me. I can't find it. I feel dumb. Alright, so we have to do our cut our losses again, do the same strategy. We should put it down near populated areas that could be near what we're looking for. Not find ourselves Lake Placid. Ugh. Ick, ick, ick. Ick, ick, ick. So I really think we're in Washington or Oregon. Let's say... Uh, I don't know where to put it though. Which one is better? I... Ah! This is Washington, this is Oregon. I think I'm gonna go with. I have to pick here soon. Problem is, I don't know which one we're in. If only I found. Round Lake isn't round. Come on, guys. Clearly, Round Lake is not round. That's not gonna be like it. Like, no way, it's like that. It's nothing around there. There's also a town nearby. Alright, alright, we're gonna cut our losses here. We're gonna say we are somewhere in between Oregon and Seattle. Say Centralia. Congratulations, Centralia. No, Olympia. I saw a thing, the Olympic diving something, maybe, maybe it's a sign. I mean, I know that's not, act there's no actual relationship between those two things, obviously. They <laughs> come from different, different names for different stuff, but. So we take it as a sign from fate. That is where we should put our thing. Make the guess. Oh, where are we? We're in Vermont. You idiot. <laughs> it did seem northwestern, but no, we're in Vermont. So now I know Lake Placid, Vermont. I know. I know. I heard of Lake Placid. That movie. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, Lake Placid. The movie about Lake Placid. Big old lake. There's even the place called Lake Placid. And apparently Olympic jumping complexes also. I thought it was just like, hey, here's a place we can go jump. Apparently it's important enough to be on the map. 
Largely, hmm, interesting. I did learn. So this last one, total width, but I learned. That's almost as important. So it was in the, let's zoom out. So it's in the mountainous northern area, northeastern, northwestern. I can totally see that. I totally see that. It's hilly. We're in the hills here and lots of trees. It just seemed a little, it just seemed a little northwestern to me. And then I could understand it being here in the northeast a little bit. Yeah, but again, I like I just knew north. That's a large amount of area over here that covers the north, right? So, Lake Placid. I knew uh, I knew that was a big hint I was missing. I know I heard of Lake Placid. Didn't know where it was. East Coast, Vermont, the northeast, right there. Okay. Well, that was a good run up until the last one. I was happy with the other ones. We still got a high score. Oh yeah, the Finland Netherlands one's pretty off far off, but we got really close to Moscow. Pretty close to Japan. We're spot on right there. So I think that was a fine run. And it was much faster, of course, because it did the time limit. Which makes it a little more exciting. A little rusher. Uh, so I don't have to just keep clicking and clicking and clicking. And clicking and trying to find one more clue for like half an hour. That moves the game along a little more quickly. I think I like doing the time limit. So anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more. Follow Twitter, guys. No deal. I'll see you next time.